Hey everyone, in my recent job search, I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video, I'll be sharing my interview experience with Flexcar. So, in the first round, interviewer asked me uh, these questions. The, so, the first question is, interviewer asked me to create a polyfill for filter method. Uh, I have taken some time, but I was able to solve it within time and uh, with a proper uh, code. And, you know, whatever questions that were asked in Flexcar, I have created a blog on those questions and I will be sharing uh, the links in the description. So please refer these articles um, of the questions and also remember that I have made videos on those questions as well and those will be available within our YouTube channel. So after that question, the interviewer asked me to create a polyfill on object dot entries. So I was able to solve this question as well. And later after that, the interviewer asked me to create a React application which will display a counter. And there will be three buttons within the application, play, pause and reset button with their functionalities, which means when the user presses on this play, counter should ideally increase for every one second. And when the user presses on this pause, the counter should pause at that point. And when the user presses on this reset button, the counter should reset to zero again. So the interviewer expected me to solve this with a custom hook. So to some extent, I was able to solve it, but all the functionalities are not working as expected within the time frame. And later after that, the interviewer asked me a few of the conceptual questions. So the first question is, uh, he mentioned a scenario where the use effect will run for every millisecond, which means for a for a second it will run thousand times, let's suppose. And within the use effect, he mentioned he's doing a state update. So for every millisecond, he is trying to do a state update. So he asked me how many times the UI repaint will happen in this scenario. So I was I was not able to answer it well though, but um, uh, to somewhat he is satisfied. And later after that, he asked me about should component update of class components actually. So I was able to answer it well. And then he asked me uh, the alternative for should component update in functional components, which I answered. And later after that, he asked me about use memo and few other hooks as well. So this was my overall experience. I was able to clear the round and uh, go to the second round, this Fluxka interview. So uh, those, all the content um, I have uploaded in our blog and please feel free to refer the article. And also please do subscribe to my channel if you wish to see a few more interviews which I have given a recent job search.